What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield with a Soak Inteleon team. This team right here was sent in by my boy Sharko. He followed me over on my Instagram page, DM'd me, sent me this team, and once I saw it, I was like, yo, I have to play it. Seriously, there are some teams that are just like that. Like, I saw the Pangoru, the Decidueye, and the Gorgeist. I was like, this team looks fire. Let's check it out. But yo, shout out to my boy Sharko for sending in this team. I cannot wait to play it. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, I appreciate all you guys who support the channel you guys have no idea but rocking out on this team in the front spot top left corner we got ourselves gore guys over here with insomnia so it cannot sleep it is also choice scarf with trick or treat seed bomb poltergeist and skitter smack yo skitter smack looks so cool because it's just like a bug type move but it lowers special attack and just the name is hilarious so i love it already but we got inteleon soak inteleon over here so we can actually just soak pokemon change our type in the water and it can actually go well with the Decidueye or Gorgeist because we can have that, those grass moves and just get some free super effective damage shots on it. This thing is also Sniper Ability with the Focus Sash, Shadow Ball for coverage, Snipe Shot for stab, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. And it can also lead with this Dragapult right here because we can Sucker Punch it, trigger that weakness policy, and roll out. Speaking of Dragapult, this thing's got the weakness policy. You guys already know. We hit that thing with that Dark type move. It's going to be boosted and dominate. It has Scald for coverage, Dragon Pulse for stab, T Bolt for coverage, and Shadow Ball for stab. Big old damage with those stab moves, especially when that weakness policy is proc. We got Panguru over here, who I don't even know if I showed off in this game yet. I know he was in the original, or without the DLC, the original just Sword and Shield. He has Ice Punch, Drain Punch, Darkest Slayer, and Iron Head with Iron Fist to make a. Uh, Fist or punch moves do more damage and that choice band so we can choice it to a move and hit a lot harder. We got this CGY who's probably going to be our uh, Dynamax Bond Pokemon. It has a life form, long reach as its ability. I love, I just love this CGY. He should be a three typing Pokemon. He should be flying grass and ghost. Like it just annoys me that there's not three typings but it would make the game a little bit overpowered if there was uh, three different typings. This thing has Brave Bird, Leaf Blade, Spirit Shackle, and Low Sweep for a nice little coverage move and it can do more damage to a uh, heavier Pokemon. And then in the final spot, we got Ninetales right here with that Snow Warning. We can set the hail, and we can actually uh, get the Roar Bell up with the Light Clay as well. If you guys want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get after it. Let's go. Let's go get some wins on that Rank Double Ladder. Not gonna lie, a little scared here. This guy has a Comfy Lapras team, and you guys already know, Comfy is a beast when it comes to healing because of its ability, but we're gonna try to rock out. I can actually soak some Mons, or I can just go straight into Decidueye and do some mean work onto a Lapras right there, but Lapras can also do some mean work on me as it has uh, G-Max Resonance right there, so that's a little scary. Um, who should I go into turn one? He has no Screen Breakers. Um, bum, 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 who do I wanna go into turn one? I don't wanna go soak Decidueye. Not even gonna lie, Soak Decidueye could be pretty nasty. Could be dirty. But he does have uh, Incineroar who might come out. Who actually might come out for that Intimidate and the Fake Out. I kinda wanna drop. Hmm. Do we go Ninetales? I kinda wanna go Ninetales here. Let's get Ninetales rolling out here. Let's go Ninetales and we'll get, uh, hmm. We get Polt right off the bat. Actually, we're gonna go Inteleon Dragon Polt. See if we can trigger Weakness Policy right off the rip. Bring Decidueye in the back and then, uh, do we have Gorgeist? I'm gonna have Gore guys for the uh, Choice Scarf, and it could potentially come in later and do some work. But yeah, no Nine Tails or Pangoro. I kind of want to get my Nine Tails out there to get a War Bell up, but it's all good. It, it is really all good. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Again, I know I haven't been streaming recently, but streams are starting very, very soon. I'm planning on streaming Fall Guys, so if you want, if you guys want to watch me have a good time, fail a lot, scream a lot, all that good stuff, come hang out with me, chat it up in my Twitch page. The link is in the description below. But it goes Comfy and Incineroar, so Intimidate is not going to do anything because we are clear body, and uh, we got Special Attack and Boy, I, uh, or over here. That actually might help out my uh, Dragapult, because now Sucker Punch will do less damage. Ooh. Ooh, he's definitely gonna fake. He's gotta fake out my uh. He's gotta fake out my uh. My dragon pool. Or not my dragon pool. My whatchamacallit. He's faking out my Intellion, that's obvious. And I'm gonna throw a Shadow Ball over on this, this Compi. Right here, cause he's gonna go for a fake out. It's just an obvious play. Obvious play, yeah, 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 yeah. Only if I had Ally Switch or something. See what he does. Dragon Kiss comes out. Oh, he does not. Oh, I'm a little hunk of junk. I'm a little hunk of junk. Jeez, yo, this thing outspeeds me? That's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. Hits me hard with the crit. So hopefully we can come over here and just uh, dump on this uh, Dragon Ball right here. We do have a snipe shot going there. And there's the fake out. What? Oh, no, it has triage. That's why it uh, goes up first. That's why it's first turn priority with healing moves. Shadow Ball comes out here. How much damage are we doing? We are weakness policy proc. That's some big damage right there. Playing on flinches, I'm definitely going to drop a uh, 
Sucker Punch right here. And do we think we can pick up the KO with that? That's gonna be cutting it close. This is totally gonna be cutting it close. Hmm. What do I do here? He's gonna outspeed me and hit me with a draining kiss. No, I'm gonna drop a Sucker Punch over onto that thing. Do we think Sucker Punch can take out? I don't know if it is. But we going for it. I'm gonna double up just in case. I'm gonna double up it with the Dragon Pulse. Mm, no, not Dragon Pulse. We're gonna double up with the Skull just in case. Come on, what you want? Drain Kiss still comes out first, yo. That is so whack. That is so whack. Now Sucker Punch is not gonna work, I don't think. Should just went into like a snipe shot or something. Bro, that's whack. That's whack. Gets a little bit of HP back. And now I'm definitely gonna bring out uh, this Sidious out here. And probably get Dynamaxing. Pull off from there. Sucker Punch does come out here and it does nothing, which is whack sauce, yo. Get out my face. He's you turning out. Very smart. Smart cookie right there. Then it goes back and we gotta bring out the Sidious. The Sidious gotta come out here. We gotta Dynamax him here. I'm surprised that Shadow Ball did not take out that, uh, that Confi. The Confi is just OP, man. It's just too good. It's just too good. But, do we go Gore, guys? Hmm. Start Skitter smacking up. We could do that, but I'm going to bring out the Sidious. I got to Dynamax him, get rolling with that, and get after it. This thing has floral healing, all that good stuff. It's just so annoying, man. Like, leave me alone. But we definitely Dynamaxing this thing. I got to go into a snipe shot. Overall, Titch Confi. Hopefully, take that thing out. And then Dynamax and set this terrain. We definitely gotta set this terrain. The Confi is so annoying, but it's so good at the same time. It's just an absolute beast here. Let's see what it is going to do. He's definitely Dynamax and Lapras dropping the G Max Resonance. But my decision, I should be able to eat up it and uh, get off a nice big Max Overgrowth. And we outspeed it, so we should be chilling here. I just wonder what the Confi's doing. He might go after my Inteleon and try to take it out. If the Draining Kiss gets some HP back as well. But we definitely got a Dynamax here. Here comes a big old decision why coming out here. Big old Decidueye. Yeah, I was wondering in the beginning, I was like, how the heck is this thing outspeeding me? But I forgot about its ability with uh, healing moves against that uh, priority. So that thing's probably rolling Draining Kiss, Floral Healing, and I think another one, maybe, uh, they're rolling Absorb? Some of them do roll Absorb to actually trigger Weakness Policy on uh, Lapras's. So, hopefully it's not doing that. Well, I would trigger it anyway. I would 100% trigger its policy anyway with this Overgrowth. With this Overgrowth, yeah, 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 yeah. He dying to max in his lap press, yeah, yeah. Come on, what you want, fool? You don't want it. You don't want it, kid. You don't want it. Is he going for the absorb? No, he goes straight for a draining kiss. Eat this up, Inteleon. Say that's a tasty snack you got there. That's such a tasty snack you got there. A lovely little tasty snack. Do we think we can take out? I don't think so. This thing's getting some mean HP. Getting some mean HP. Hit it with that crit. Hit it with that crit, baby. Get it. Hit it with that crit. Mmm, no crit, and it's on like one and a half. <laughs> Overgrowth comes out here. We're gonna be able to do some nice damage onto it. Oh my lord. Oh my oh my lord. Uh-oh. This thing is definitely scared. This thing is definitely scared. Show me it's not policy. Show me it's clay. Show me it's a light clay. Show me it's a light clay, baby. Yes, sir. It is light clay. He's gonna drop the resonance. We should be able to eat this up, no problem. Let's see how much damage is this gonna do. Yeah, we should be able to eat that out. Beautiful. Um, he's probably gonna go into a floral healing. That might be his call. Um, how should I place one out though? Let's have a roar bell. I think I still got to keep pressure onto that, uh, onto that Lapras slot. He might actually guard. And that's a problem here. That, that is a problem. But I think he's going to go into a floral healing. He still has that, uh, that what's called in the back in Sinor, which is kind of scary. Hmm. But a sucker punch? No. Shouldn't go for a snipe shot over on the Confi. Then I'm going to roll over with Max Overgrowth. See, what you want full floral healing obviously comes out here that's totally fine i still think we might be able to take this thing out how much hp is he gonna get back we might be able to take this out even though it has that roar bell up we have the uh the what's called out the terrain we have the lovely terrain right there it's gonna give us that 1.3 times multiplier plus a life orb shot come on show me we take this thing out do him dirty buddy do him dirty we're keeping pressure on here take it out take it out rock him up rock him up Let's get it, baby. We eating out here. Get it. This is why we still have guys in the back. But the big threat right here is going to be that instant. He's going to come out here. He's going to be able to fake my, out my Italian. But we still have one more Dynamax turn, which is absolutely huge. Which I think we got to send it up against that, uh, that what's called. We got to send it on to that, uh, the instant. Because like I said, he's just a threat. He's just a threat right now. What you want, fool? What are you going for? Let's see. Oh, he has instant. Did he show his last Pokemon? I don't think he did. I don't think he did yet. 
He went Incineroar Confi, and it is Rillaboom. Okay. And it is Rillaboom, who is definitely going to go for a, uh... Hmm. This is tough, man. This is going to be tough, tough. He's definitely going for a, uh... A Grassy Glide on me. Do I Sucker Punch? I think I just Sucker Punch here. Try to get off some damage. I think that is the call, to go for a Sucker Punch. Over onto the Rillaboom, because if he goes Grassy Glide, he's going to take me out. And then I kind of just drop a Max Knuckle. Let's not stab. I think I'd rather go for the Overgrowth. Or the Phantasm. Mmm. 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 What do I want? I guess we'll just go for the Knuckle. Knuckle's probably your best bet. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do here. Robum does go. Oh, he goes for the Fake Out. Okay. And you die to it? Come on, man. I thought you were going to be able to eat up a Fake Out. Get out of my face. Here comes my Knuckle coming out. Get it. Give me my attack back. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. I think this one's a lost cause because he's going to Flare Blitz to be able to do some monster damage to us. We were minus one because of the Intimidate. I don't remember that. Leave me alone, yo. Get it out of here. Ah! The CGY down for the count. And it all comes down to Gore Guys. Can't Gore Guys clutch it up? Probably not, but we're going to try it. We're definitely going to try it. We're probably going to go down 0-1 in this first battle. But yeah, we are just learning. We're chilling here. We're learning with this team. It's all good. We still got two battles to actually come back and try to get some wins. But this wasn't a bad battle. I wouldn't say it's a bad battle. Just, uh, I guess, a bad matchup towards the end, to be honest. Because he yeah, had the Rillaboom goes there for my Italian. And then the Incineroar, like I said, is going to take out my Gore Guys and my, uh, my Decidueye. Dan it. Dan dan it. Could skitter smack on somebody. Could skitter smacking. Or I could just pull through, guys. Because the user attacks the target by controlling the target's item. The move fails if the target doesn't have an item. So you guys definitely got items. You guys definitely got items. Get him, Gore Guys. Gore Guys is fast, too. Uh, well, of course, Grass God is going to outspeed. I still did a heaping amount of damage, even though it's not very effective. It got a crit. What you mean? Pull through, guys. Comes out here. Oh, my God. Let's get it. We doing damage. We doing some damage. Get him. Doing no damage. <laughs> Flare Blitz comes out here, and that is going to actually end me up here. I'm surprised I didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. It was base 110. Did, it, did something happen with that item? Am I using the move wrong or something like that? I actually never used uh, a Gore Geist before. I know Trick or Treat changes to Ghost, and I know uh, Poltergeist actually does more damage with like items and all that. So let me know in the comment section down below if I'm using it wrong. We already know what's going on here. This guy has the Pinchurchin Electric Surge with the Lolan Raichu team. I showed this off a little bit back. It is a very strong team, very quick Raichu, and he's able to do some mean damage. So I got to watch out for that thing. I definitely got to watch out for it. Um, who should I lead? Do I get Soaking right off the rip? I could Soak. I could roll out from there. Um, but I'm really scared of the uh, the Lightning and all that. Just coming through and doing monstrous damage to me. I could go a War Veil, get that set up, and then roll from there. I think that might be the play. Because he's got to go Pinchurchin as a lead. Or he could go in DD. Could go either way. But let's go Nine Tails here. Try to get that off. He has nothing to break screens. That's that's pretty good. There's no way that Urshifu is rocking out with Brick Break. So I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Gotta watch out for the Cinderace. Everyone knows that thing's an absolute monster. Um, but if he does lead the Pin Church and all that, I kind of got to go into something that could eat up them shots. We could go Pangoru as a lead. But I'm thinking of just going Dragon Pult. I think I'm just going Poltsky. Doing some work over there. But that thing, does it have a fairy move? No, it has psychic moves. I'm going to go Dragapult, and I'm going to bring Inteleon and Decidueye in the back end. Gore guys, and my boy Pangoru is taking the, taking the seat for this second battle. But this team is very strong. I actually really do like this team that he is using. It was one of my favorites I used a little bit back. Like, dude, so good. And so much fun to use because you got that Cinderace, who's an absolute monster. You got the Raichu, which is, like, totally new and something cool to use. And it has that double speed inside that electric surge. So, just got to watch out for that and uh, play it safe. Let's see where he goes. He goes Raichu and Urshifu, so we can probably switch out into the terrains. All that good stuff. We're going to go Poltsky and Ninetales right here. Get it, baby. Let's get it. We're coming after you. Snow warning coming out. we get that light clay bopping. Um, I could go Dazzle and Gleam right after it, but I'd rather just make sure I get this off. And then just drop a big old Shadow Ball over onto the Raichu. Say, I'm not playing around today. He might swap the Urshifu, which I think he's going to do. And Dynamax the Raichu. Let's see. Let's see, he does not. He just goes straight for a sucker punch here and just dumps on my dragon. Bro, what you mean? I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't even expecting that. Like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> wasn't even expecting that. Just not even close to expecting that. Thing just whipped on me. Just like, yo, get out of here. I'm gonna just sucker punch and drop you right now. Bro. Bro. Bad play by your boy. Bad play by your boy. I didn't even think of the Sucker Punch coming out here. He's going to pull up in Churchin now, who's going to set the Electric Surge. 
and uh, we're gonna be able to get off this beautiful lovely Aurora Veil this lovely little Aurora Veil and he's probably gonna sucker punch again to be honest with you or to be honest with you guys onto my nine tail slime maybe I can get off a gleam maybe I can get off a gleam that could be wonderful get buffeted by the storm get out of here kids you get it too all right let's let's bring out uh Decidueye and get Dynamax and this is this is our chance here this is our chance Sid, you are getting out here. Get out here, kid. Do -do -do -do. Um, definitely gotta drop the gleam. And I think we go here and we could airstream. Or boost our speed, but I'd rather just change up this terrain right here right now. And who do I drop it up against? I'm gonna drop it up against this Pinchurchin. This thing does have rising voltage, which will do double damage in uh in uh electric terrain. But he is going to uh, Dynamax. Is he going to Dynamax and Urshifu? I think you're going to Dynamax Pin Church in here. No, big boy Urshifu comes out here. So no max guards for me. Because this thing can hit through max guards with his uh, G-Max move. This is a water one. This is not the water one. This is the dark one. Or not the dark. The fighting and... Uh, what is it? Fighting and dark? It, it might be fighting and dark. No, it's not. It's Yeah, it's fighting and dark. <laughs> I totally forgot it's typing. Because I know it's water and fighting and then fighting and dark. Those are the two. This one is... Uh, Four times super effective to, uh, what's it called? Two fairies. So I think what's it called is going to be able to do some big old damage up on it. This, uh, Dazzling Gleam here. This Nine Tail should be fast on the field, right? Yep, Dazzling Gleam comes out here. Look at that. Big mistake, Urshifu. Big mistake. We got a crit on it, too. That was huge mistake for the Urshifu's part. Oh, my lord. What are you doing knowing that there's a fairy type out here and you are the dark and fighting type? We are four times super effective to you. And you know that this thing's fast. That might have just won me the game there. That was, that was a big play there. This comes out here. Nice big max overgrowth. Takes this thing out. No terrain for him either. Terrain's on our favor now. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good with this one. No Dynamax. No terrain. We sitting good. He kind of, he started off strong with that sucker punch. But he made a huge mistake by Dynamax and that Urshifu. Like, he was probably chilling by just playing regular and then waiting for that Raichu to come out here and rolling out from there. But, yo, huge mistake from him. You guys see a fairy Pokemon on the field? Watch out with that Urshifu. With the Dark and Fighting one, even both uh, Urshifus are, like, very weak to uh, fairy. But still, that one's four times super effective. And a Dazzling Gleam just marked on it right then and there. Raichu comes out here. Alone and Raichu looking all good. Tokus comes out here as well. Dan -dan 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 -ay, dan -ay, ay, 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 And I can just go for a nice little free strike. Get that stab damage rolling. Run onto that Tokus. And do I just roll for a Phantasm? Good lower defense. This is my back end Pokemon again. It is Inteleon. Okay. I don't want to get Inteleon out right now. A little bit. But at the same time, I don't really want to waste a move. I just go for a Phantasm. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Send this against the Raichu. Let's see what happens. Follow me coming out here? Nope. Rising Voltage comes out. Eee! That should take out my uh, Nine Tails. No, it eats it. It would have been double damage in the terrain. But we chilling now. Free Strike coming out here. And that should be that should be pretty much game. Raichu should go down here. Tokus should be able to eat. Yep, Tokus eats. Air Slash comes out here. We eat very, very much. And we coming out. You got a crit? What you mean? It's all right. We got a crit earlier. So we chilling. Phantasm comes out. Yeah, this should be able to dump on it. I don't think it's Sash. Nope. No Sash. And Decidueye is going to be able to clutch this one up. And just absolutely dominate this battle. Just dominate. Hey, Sharko. That one was for you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Let's get it. Tokus gets buffeted by the hail. It's probably just going to go for another air slash. So I'm just going to freeze dry it up. Do I guard here? I might guard. I might guard. I might just guard. Just to play it safe. Like, super, super safe. But this thing might have, like, Gleam or something. So, I'm just going to freeze try it again. And I am going to... I do not have a guard. Wax off. And I'm just drop a Phantasm. Let's get it. Because he's got to go for an Air Slash, right? But Inteleon should be able to outspeed it. No problem. Let's get it. Freeze try coming out here. Kill it. It just kills it anyway. Regardless, that is just GG in a can. One and one in our first two battles. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and get that winning record for you guys. Going up against Little John in our third and final battle. He is my final victim. We're going to whap on him. We're going to give him the smackins. Hopefully, we can do that and try to get ourselves a winning record. I'm going to lead uh, Inteleon and Dragapult here. I, can, uh, I think I'm going to trigger my weakness policy and roll from there. And then bring Gorgeist in the back. And then in the final spot, do I go... Where do I set up an Aurora Veil? Hmm. Mm, both good options, but I think I'm just gonna bring Panguro in the back and get rolling for that. We have a uh, what's called it in in this lineup too, the Poltergeist, the Pumpkin Boy, the change to Ghost typing that can work out great for my Dragapult. So I'm kind of just focusing around my Dragapult. I want to keep this thing alive. I want to trigger weakness policy, and I want to roll out and start dumping on Pokemon left and right. 
But let's get it. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Who's he going to lead? The reason I am leading Inteleon and Dragon Ball, I feel like it's safe because Intimidates cannot come out here. And he's not going with any Intimidates, which is uh, pretty cool. We might go, oh, we might go for that Corrosive item. But I'm going to trigger Weakness Policy beforehand. So it don't even matter. It's not even like that. It's not even like that. And then we come in after you, Tokus, because I'm not dealing with you. No wars. This ain't going to follow me. Hmm. I'm still going to go for a Sucker Punch. I'm still going to go for it. I'm still going to go for that, and I think I'm going to drop a Max Lightning over onto this uh, Tokus slot. Let's see. Don't you dare go for a Follow Me. Don't you dare go for a Follow Me. If he goes for a Follow Me, that's just screw me up, man. And then he can just corrode my weakness policy and my focus edge. With that, uh, whatever that move is called. It's like corrosive something. Something like that. It is a new move came from the DLC. And it is actually really good. I haven't really shown it off yet. But it's very strong. It just takes out items and just corrodes them. And they're gone. Instantly gone. Don't you dare go for follow me. He does not go for follow me. We trigger our weakness policy. This is exactly what I wanted. And Pulse should be able to do some big old damage over onto this Tokus. Hopefully take it out. We're plus two right now. Even though it's not stabbed. But still. Should be able to do some big old damage. And change up this terrain right here. Let's get it. Take him out. Take out Tokus. Let's go. Exactly what I wanted. Smart move right here. Hopefully he's going for that uh, corrosive move. And he can just take off my items. I really don't care. Dragapult doesn't have an item anymore. The weakness policy is already triggered up. So we are chilling. And then I might just swap out and get maybe Pumpkaboo out there. Pumpkaboo. Is he going for it? No, he's going straight for a T-Bolt. I'm cool with that too. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Get the paralyzed. Yo, what you mean, dog? What you mean? You get the paralyzed. Get out of my face. Get out of here, kid. Who gets the power? That's all right. I guess I, I guess we could take that. It's a little pumpkin in the back. A little pumpkin boo guy. And my dragon pole is fast. As you know. Policy's triggered. We're sitting strong right here. He still has a dynamax. Gotta watch out. But Tokus was a huge threat to my dragon pole, so I'm glad we were able to take that out. Hey, hey, jeans, jeans, jeans. Winning record time. Winning, winning record time. But yeah, this team has so many uh, ways to go out with it. Okay, Arcanine's gonna come out. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Um, no Intimidate on this thing, so I guess Flash Fire? I mean, I'll go for a Snipe Shot if I can land it. And then I think I'm gonna go for a Wormwood. There's no effect over on that, but I'd rather minus one attack, you know? Or I can just drop a Phantasm and go after a Weezing, but I'm not too worried about the Weezing. Actually, I am a little bit. I might just try to do some damage over on it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But, like I was saying, there's so many different ways to come out here. He's snarling, yo, you little biscuit, man! Snarl up on me like that. Little buttery biscuit. Get out of here. Hopefully that uh that what's it called. Or am I telling you I can get off a shot on that thing? I'll take him out, yo. Get out of here, reason. Get out of here. So we're gonna be able to get off a snipe shot here. But like I was, I'm trying to say is this team has so many different options on how to play it. You can play it with triggering weakness possibly with dragon pole, soaking and going in with the Sidui. And you can also oh this is why the the what's called wasn't coming out here. The intimidate. But you can go in with soaking with the Sidui, or you can go in with uh, trick or treating with Pumpkaboo and uh Dragapult. There's just so many ways and so many mechanics you can use with this team. It is awesome. Same shot comes out. This is a decent amount of damage. We were minus one already. And, um, hmm. I'm not gonna play this one. I'm surprised that Arcanine's outspeeding me. And I'm, I'm a little surprised by that. Intimidate's gonna come out here again. I'm totally cool with it. Uh, I think I just gotta drop a sucker punch. Oh, this thing's not Intimidate. It's Moxie, and he's definitely 100% going to Dynamax here. Definitely going to Dynamax. I think I gotta go with the sucker punch. At least do a little bit of damage over on Arcanine slot. And then drop a big old max lightning because it is four times super effective. It is four times super effective. So this is actually going to be like the key matchup right here. This is going to be the key to the matchup right here. He's snarling, taking out, and bringing my special attack back down to regular. And if I can take out this Gyarados here with this max lightning, we should be chunk. We should be chunk. Oh, we Dynamax is Arky. He Dynamax is Arky 9. This dude's insane. He's nuts. He's going crazy. We still have Panguru in the back. He's going off. He's going off. Sucker Punch comes out. We're doing a little bit of damage. He's going to go probably for a, uh, well, Gyarados is going here. Gyarados is going. Not Dynamax. He's out of here. Get him out. Get him going. So we could have went for a uh, Snipe Shot here. Who are you going after? We're sitting pretty well here. We are sitting pretty well. This is final Pokemon. I guess for Darkness. And this is definitely going to take me out, I think. Eat up, buddy. No, it doesn't. Oh, yeah. I forgot. No stab. No stab move. It's not doing that much. We chilling. We chilling, yo. Great start for me in this battle. I'm able to... Well, I thought I thought it through. I was like, yo, if he wants to go for the Intimidates and all that, let him go for it. I'm going to get out this Dragon Pole with clear body. Intimidate can just lower my special attacking Inteleon up, and we should be chilling here. Snipe Shot should be able to come out, and I'm going to... Do I drop a Scald? What's going to do more? Scald super effective? Yeah. 
Let's get it. We are still plus one here. But this should be pretty much GG, baby. Battle was canceled. Yo, winning record. I told you guys. Let's get it. My boy Sharko, thank you so much for dropping this team. I really do appreciate it. I had so much fun. It was so good as well. It is just off meta. And you guys know I love that off meta teams. Like, it's finally cool to use something other than like Cinderaces, Real Booms, all that good stuff. And still go and get that winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.